Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today I'm gonna to tell you about this beautiful 2019 Land Rover Discovery that we have for sale. This is the HSE model with third row seating. One awesome mid-size luxury SUV. Uh, this, like you would expect with a vehicle of the Land Rover name, it has amazing off-road credentials. In fact, it's probably better than a lot of other vehicles it competes with in its class. It has a terrain management system. It has an adjustable air suspension, giving you up to 11 inches of ground clearance. That is pretty remarkable compared to some uh, super duper off-road vehicles, let alone a luxury SUV like this. Uh, you also have a low range mode too for serious off-roading. And maybe you might not go rock crawling in this beautiful uh, Land Rover Discovery, but I'll tell you, in the Pacific Northwest, we have some beautiful uh, off-road parks. You don't need to go rock crawling to enjoy the outdoors. There's some off-road, uh, you know, where you can go on some light trails, maybe drive through a couple inches of water, and you can take your family safely out in uh, some beat up dirt and gravel roads and explore the great outdoors without having to do technical off-roading. Maybe you want to get to your favorite uh, camping or fishing spot, kayaking. This thing is ready to do it, and it's ready to do it in complete luxury. We have the original build sheet on this one. Okay, so this has a good amount of equipment on it. Original MSRP was $66,441. This lovely shade of coarse gray metallic was a 710 premium color. The cold climate package was $1,200. Uh, the seven seat package giving you third row seating was $2,195. We have four zone climate control, $300 for that. Ebony headlining, uh, which is a, a black headliner. $360, premium interior protection storage uh, pack, $699. Wheel protection pack, uh, chrome locks, $199. Uh, basic rear seat convenience pack, $229. Um, and that's uh, pretty much it for the big ticket features. Of course, we can print out a copy or email you one if you wanna peruse it yourself. Uh, beautiful leather interior, uh, great sounding Meridian audio system, beautiful black piano finish. We have uh, heated and power front seats, four zone climate control, as we mentioned. Uh, navigation, uh, rear parking camera, nice rimless rear view mirror of Universal Garage Door Opener. We have Panamera roofs, so we have a roof back there, and we have a roof up here. The one up here opens. The one back there is just a glass roof panel, but just having that glass roof panel is really nice. It allows lots of natural light into the interior. And we do have uh, some power sun shades to dim things down if it gets too bright out. Pretty nice. Really nice color combination. And with that adjustable air suspension, it's very versatile. You can put it on the low setting for making it easy to get in and out of the vehicle. Also, when you're on the highway, having uh, the suspension in the lowest setting, that helps improve gas mileage by lowering your drag coefficient. And it also improves high speed stability by um, uh, lowering your center of gravity. But uh, when you uh, wanna go off-roading or Situations like that, you want a little bit more uh, suspension travel, you put it up on the highest setting, and then you have, as I mentioned, up to 11 inches of ground clearance, which is pretty impressive compared to uh, many off-road vehicles. That's quite a good amount of uh, ground clearance. Uh, you can see we have rear climate control as well. Okay, we have third row seating under there. Decent sized third row seating as well. Really in beautiful shape. The Discovery's kind of evolved over the years. Uh, the Discovery's before kind of were a little bit more boxier, utilitarian looking. Um, where these newer Discovery's, uh, which were uh, recently redesigned, they're a little bit more curvaceous, a little bit more, a little bit fancier looking than kind of the old utilitarian boxy look. I, I definitely think it's a nice improvement. And it kind of seems kind of kind of follows the same design theme we see on the more upscale like Range Rover products. I think they have like a, the Velar Range Rover Velar looks very similar to that. It's probably based on a similar platform. Of course, it's been serviced and checked by our techs. The brakes are good. The tires are good. It's been reconditioned, and it's ready for a new home. Obviously, being a newer vehicle with relatively low miles, you wouldn't expect it needing too much work. And uh, look at that, one beautiful vehicle. Uh, for an engine, we have a supercharged V6, pumping out 340 horsepower. 
That's a lot of power. It's actually uh, capable of launching this to zero to 60 in about six seconds. That's definitely performance car territory for a large vehicle to accelerate that quickly, pretty good. And if you do need a tow uh, with the V6 engine, uh, the tow rating is a little over 8,000 pounds when properly equipped. Obviously, you'd have to add a receiver hitch to tow. This one doesn't have it, but I'm sure you could pretty, pretty easily add one if need be. Thank you so much for taking the time today to watch this video. Hopefully, we'll see you soon and have a wonderful day.